What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. So today's video is going to be more of a talking video. Um, not really the type of video I enjoy making. I enjoy getting a little more exciting content out for you guys, but it's what we have to work with today. To start off with, I have a little bit of an announcement for you guys. Um, I think I mentioned it in last video, but I'm going to be helping uh, one of my buddies install injectors on his truck. 7.3 truck. Um, I know I already have a video out there on installing injectors on a 7.3, uh, but to be completely honest, I'm not happy with it. Um, it was when I did the injectors on mine, which was quite a while ago, a year or two ago at this point, and my video quality and whatever just wasn't very good at the time. And I can't say I'm that much better now, but I'm definitely better now. Um, and so I'm going to be going through and one, I'm going to be helping him out, swapping the injectors out on his truck. It is a 94 7.3, so 94 and a half, 7.3 power stroke. We're going to be throwing in some hybrid injectors in there. Pretty awesome setup. Go into more details on the whole build and everything. It's a little bit uh, non-traditional per se, uh, but we're going to be throwing in some hybrid injectors into his truck. Um, actually the day I'm filming it, it's going to be starting tomorrow morning. Uh, so the next video you guys watch should hopefully be the new injectors video. And mainly I'm remaking it because, again, I'm not happy with the quality of the first one. So hopefully now that I'm a little more experienced in all of this stuff, I can create a much nicer, higher quality video for you guys, kind of going through the basic process of how to switch out injectors on these trucks. It's not all that hard, but it is definitely a little intimidating and time consuming if you've never done it before. So that's the first announcement uh, to get out of the way. Should be working on that tomorrow. I'm pretty excited about it. I know he is. Uh, we got some tunes from 1023 that we're gonna be throwing on the truck. Should be pretty darn sweet. So now moving on to the main part of this video, kind of the meat and potatoes of everything and why I'm making this video is I need your guys' input. I am really, really split on a decision right now. So I told you guys that I am currently or have been in the process of trying to buy property and knock on wood, I don't want to jinx anything, uh, but things are looking like they're moving in the right direction and I should own the property before Christmas if all things go smoothly, um, which I am extremely, extremely excited about. Uh, this is a pretty darn big deal for me. Um, it's not a huge property by any means, uh, but we're looking at uh, a small bit of acreage, um, and this is something I've just always kind of dreamed of doing. Uh, my entire life I grew up, my great-grandparents settled a farm in this area and built a farm, um, and it's been in the family ever since. I grew up always going out to that farm on the summers and working my summers on the farm, and I always just envisioned myself when I grew up um, and was able to that I'd be buying a farm of my own. Now this is far sooner in my life than I really expected it happening at 24 years old. Um, I didn't really expect to be capable of uh, or be ready to be buying uh, property like this like I am now. Um, again, it's not anything crazy, um, but it's kind of the my very first homestead, would you say, uh, which is kind of crazy to me when I... For those of you that don't know, I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, when I was 17, I broke my neck in a sports accident, had my neck broken in a sports accident, and that's how I ended up in a wheelchair, basically paralyzed from my shoulders down. As you guys have seen in the videos, I've been able to regain use of my body in a bit, uh, but by no means am I fully able body. I still use the wheelchair full time to get around to do everything. I'm just very lucky to be able to stand up and do some things. And when that happened, I didn't know if this dream of mine to be able to own property would ever be possible. Um, and to be completely honest, I am fairly nervous about going into this endeavor, but I've always dreamt of doing this and I don't want me being in a wheelchair to stand in my way from me doing what I want to do. Um, so obviously I'm going forward with it and trying to live the life that I've always dreamt of living. Um, now, that is all kind of miscellaneous information that doesn't really matter to what I need your guys' opinion on. Um, I've built this channel around automotive content, especially around 7.3 content. I know that's what most of you guys are here for. Um, 
That being said, when I named this channel Living on Wheels, it was kind of for two different reasons. So the first reason I chose Living on Wheels is kind of unique and probably something that I would imagine almost none of you have thought of, is the fact for me personally, my entire life changed when I got put into a wheelchair. Um, nothing was as it was before. Everything's different. A lot of things are harder. My entire life basically is different from what it was before and what I always imagined it being. Probably two years after I got out of the hospital and I finally got in a truck again for the first time and drove it myself doing my own thing. That was the first time that things just kind of felt normal again. I felt like myself again. And so the one of the reasons I chose living on wheels is because when I'm behind the, the wheel of my truck, um, it's when, it's kind of like when I feel most alive. And I know that sounds cheesy, but it's just kind of one of those things that when your entire life changes and you get something like that back and you you feel like something's just back to normal or almost back to normal, it just feels right. Um, it was kind of a, a really cool feeling. So that was one of the reasons I chose the name of Living on Wheels is because I just, you know, I feel alive when I'm driving. Um, everything feels right. I don't feel odd or out of place or confined to the wheelchair. I'm free to the open road and I'm living on wheels. Um, of course, obviously the second reason, I'm sure you guys can uh, have already connected to the dot on that. I'm in a wheelchair. I'm literally living on wheels. Um, and the reason I chose that name is partially because I wanted this channel to be able to encompass a lot more than automotive content. And obviously that's what I focused on this entire time building up this channel is mainly my 7.3 Power Stroke, but automotive content. Um, but the reason I chose Living on Wheels is I wanted it to be able to encompass a lot more. Um, I knew down the road at some point I was going to be trying to purchase property, purchase my own homestead, uh, and have my own thing and I wanted to be able to grow this channel around uh, that idea um, and so I wanted to be a little more broad and enjoy it with me per se and so that's kind of the reason I chose the name so now my question to you guys is I know a lot of you guys are here for the automotive content do you guys think I should as I move into this next adventure of life and start doing a whole lot more projects outside of just automotive stuff. Uh, this place I'm getting is going to need a lot of work. Um, gonna be renovating the old farmhouse on it, making it, bringing it back to its true glory and better in my own vision. Um, and there's gonna be a lot of projects involving that. Do you guys think that I should keep that on this channel and just keep it as living on wheels for this channel and encompass everything uh, that I'm doing in my life and just take you guys along with it? Or do you think I should keep this channel as simply an automotive channel um, and then start another channel? My idea would be Living on Wheels Homestead and kind of have them as separate different things. My concern is it's taken me two years to build this channel to where it is. Um, and by no means am I going crazy on it. The channel's not huge by any means, but I have, by the time I get the property, probably 10,000 subscribers, which is really cool. Uh, but it's taken me a long time to get there. I'm not too eager to start another channel from scratch, but I do think there would be a number of you guys that are interested that would be able to, that would be willing to go over to the new channel, follow it, subscribe, and then I can kind of run these both in tandem. I don't plan on stopping this channel uh, by any means. Uh, I fully plan to continue on with the automotive content, uh, but I am gonna be bringing in a lot uh, more different projects than what you guys have been seeing. So I want you guys' opinion. Should I keep the single channel, Living on Wheels, and bring you guys all along with the adventure? Or is that something that you guys aren't really interested in and I should make a separate channel? Um, and if I do make a separate channel, would you guys, how many of you guys would actually go over and start following it? Because I do not want to start from scratch. 
it's just a hard thing to do, especially when I, 10,000 subscribers is a lot, but in the scheme of YouTube, it is tiny. Um, and so, I don't know. I need your guys' opinion on it. You guys are the followers. Without you guys, I'm not making videos. Uh, so I wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. I know this wasn't the most exciting video, but it is what it is. Um, I'm pretty excited about this next stage of life. Um, I really hope to turn either this channel or the other channel into something really big. Uh, take you guys along with it. I don't know. It's just something I'm excited about. So I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. I'm sorry this video wasn't the most exciting. The next one should be a pretty good one, doing a full injector swap on a 7.3. Uh, fingers crossed everything goes to plan, which it totally should. Um, we've actually had the valve covers off this truck, oh, probably a month ago or so at this point. So we have a good idea that everything's in pretty good condition. Um, but the next video is going to be an automotive one, or should be an automotive one swapping the injectors a little more up the alley of where this channel's been. Um, hopefully everything's going well for you guys. As always, leave the video a thumbs up if you're excited about the new property, excited about the new potential for the channel, and leave your comments down below. I really, really do need your guys' input on this one because I'm not sure what to do. Um, I appreciate your guys' input more than you guys know. Um, I do read every single comment that gets put onto my videos. Responding to them gets a little trickier. You guys don't need to know all that. Um, it does get trickier, but I do read all of your guys' comments and I enjoy interacting with you guys. I enjoy hearing about your guys' build, hearing about how what I'm doing has inspired you or a piece of information I provided has helped you guys. Um, it's just cool to be able to interact with you guys and it's fun to watch the channel grow. Um, and I'm excited for what its potential is in the next upcoming years. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to sign off. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll catch you guys on the next video.